Hi, I'd like to show you how I use digital flashcards in Workflowy. It's based on a system called the Litnear Box. And a huge shout out to NCase, Nikki Case, for creating this website called How to Remember Everything, <laughs> Anything Reverenced. She goes into details on, I think it's she, what space repetition is, how it works the recall over time, the forgetting curve, in a very fun way. And she goes into, eventually, the, the this little box, the shoebox thing. And so I'm basically taking this shoebox method and creating a digital version of that. So I highly recommend that you go and read this first. It's at incase.me or slash remember. And it will, it goes over everything to get what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna go into how I set it up. And and then this is the, the backing information on how it works. In this system, there are seven levels and you're essentially moving a, a card, a note card up each level. So it starts, everything starts in level one and then you'll progress over to level seven. So as you learn it, you'll move it up. As you learn it, you move it up. And they've even got this amazing fancy calendar <laughs> that it tells you what days to study which things. And so you can go in and be like, okay, well, on day one, I'm going to go and look and see what what flashcards I have in level two and run through those. If I get it right, I'll move to level three. If I get it wrong, it goes all the way back to level one, which, which isn't too bad uh, if you're at level two. So, But if you're at level four and you forget it, guess where it goes? All the way back to level one. So that's... But that's good because then it, it gets put it back in your rotation. So it's a good to fight that to forgetting curve. So I've got it broken into these levels. And with Workflow, you can take the bullets and make them into like a board view. So when you click on, I'll have this as a template that you can download in the description. But when you click on this bullet for your linear flashcards, it go, it's supposed to go ahead and put it into a board view. But board view, there we go. Cool. All right, so now we've got some cards here. Now, I know I only need to look at level two right now, so I kind of want to hide these real quick. So there's a little arrow that you can click to hide those. There we go. And in Wordflow, I've got, there is the bullet, the main content, and then there's also the note. See how this is gray here? And if you click on the note, it expands. And so I've hidden the answer inside the note. And I put for context what... This is from a book, so this one right here is talking about the book Influence. So if I click on it, it will reveal the answer. Another beautiful thing about Workflow in this board view is that you can grab the card, or in this case the bullet, and move it where it needs to go. So let me go ahead and answer the question real quick. Want to increase liking? Be around them. Um, point out similarities between you, mirror their behavior, do small papers to them, and show that you like them. So around is the word. So let me click on the small text down here to see if I got it right. And I did. I put the answer in bold and blue just because it's easier for me to see. And since I got it right, I'm going to drag this over here. The nice line pops up letting me know that I'm going to go to the right spot. And it hides in there because I've got them, I've got them hidden right now. So if you want to expand it, well, there it is. But I just want to keep that collapse just to keep things clean and, and proceed. So like you go to the next one. Uh, the more people understand about how it work, how their hard work adds value i don't think that's right oh i got it i got it as value cool cool and i even put like extra notes underneath it so i'll move that to the next section three same thing small groups can generate cross group hatred yep okay great got that one understand your feelings understand the feelings of others then try to communicate your understanding aha thank you Brene brown and then i even use it to remember people's names what's Dell's wife's name again it's ellen boom got it great but if I were to get it wrong, I could easily just put it over here in this column. So there we go. So I have cleared out column two and the calendar. Let me go with the calendar. Said I needed to go through level two and then back to level one, which is great because that means you catch everything from level one and get it moved back to level two um, by the time you're done with your session. So I've went over everything session two, uh, level two. I'm going to go back to level one and do those. Another thing they mention uh, in this is to don't put too many cards in at once. So if you're if you're studying something or you're taking notes from a book, like from Audible or wherever, and you're trying to put content in here, 
don't list out 50 cards. Do like five a day if you're if you're studying a lot. Add five at a time because it just it'll it'll slow down the churn a lot. And so like it'll, it'll I've noticed that I had I had too many in here. It slows me down and I don't and I end up not finishing. So try to put a little bit at a time in, and then you'll slowly work through a lot of content over time. It's very important that you keep your cards small. Don't have a bunch of content all in one. There's a great example of mitochondria. This card sucks. <laughs> What's this? And then bam, you got this huge description of what it is. It's too big, too much information. So take that thing and break it even into nine smaller ones. And that's exactly what they did here. Yeah, look at that. And so you can easily replicate that into something like Workflow to where you can move the cards around. Workflow even accepts photos. So if you wanted that photo of the mitochondria, you can. So, what's this? And then I just literally hit Control V to paste that in. And then to get to the note feature, to write the answer, it's Shift Enter. And so it shifts down. So I'm going to be like, Science. Mito, oh no. There we go. Copy paste to the rescue. There we go. What is this? Mitochondria. Can bold it. Uh, bold. And then I can also make it move. There we go. And I probably need to brush up on that, so I'm going to move that to level one. If you're familiar with Workflow A, another advanced idea that you can do is if you already have notes somewhere, then you can mirror your note into here and then keep it within the system. So I've got a note about my, my book notes for this book. Uh, let's try this first one. I can take this note that I took and turn it into a quiz question. So I'm going to call this is, I'm going to hit shift return. Make time is the name of the book, and then I'm going to write the answer and then delete it. <laughs> uh, override busy culture and infinity pools of refreshing content to take back control of your life. I'm going to take refreshing content as the word because that tells me what infinity pools are. I didn't know what infinity pool was, and that's what it's talking about. So I'm going to put in a couple spaces, go back here, control V, paste that in and then make it blue and bold. But I'm not done. This is just in my notes somewhere else in Workflow. So I'm gonna mirror this into there. And so there are lots of ways to do that, but I'm just gonna click over here and hit mirror. All right, now I'll have to go back to where I was. There we are. And then paste. And there we go. It's mirrored my note. So now I can drag it wherever I want. And even if I update it or change it, like it's mirroring from, from my notes elsewhere in my account. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you are using Workflow or new to Workflow, it's a great way to do all kinds of things, but it can also be great for doing digital flashcards.